Karakara seta la bonda Bereki la sosheta Zemanta baroko sata la bakayate Manku zete kusa kamanda Repaka siko teli rahase Jeta la manko prakala si Moku parada sete le monta Thank you, Father. Thank you for this mountaintop experience in the name of Jesus. That is, we are here, oh God, oh Father God. There is a ministration that is of relevance, that is of significance, that, oh God, we are releasing, oh God, from this place, imparting, oh God, on all those, oh God, who are part of this broadcast. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity. To minister from this place in the name of Jesus, from the prayer mountain, in the name of Jesus, La Mare Telekosha. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome all to the mountain top experience. This is the sermon for today where we are talking about the mountain top experience. So even as you invite other people to join this broadcast, tell them that we are about to experience the mountain top experience you are about to experience in yourself the mountain top experience is the transcendence level where you have reached a higher a pinnacle in the spirit where you have reached a greater place of foresight a greater place of of extended vision and understanding and revelation of the things of god this is what we have titled the mountain top experience. So we are here at the prayer mountain releasing this revelation to you and just speaking to you about this. You see, when we speak about mountain top of mountain top experience, we are speaking about the fracture point. When you are in physics, there is a, 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 a thing called the fracture point where a metal, no matter what, will break Larabaseta. This is even in the spirit, a point where Every, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. That is the fracture point where no matter what happens, no matter how demons try, no matter how witchcraft tries, at that point, it's a fracture point where the flesh and the spirit meet, where the spirit, spiritual realm intersect, where there's so much power now of God traveling in that place. So it is called the fracture point in the spirit. And hence, this is what we get when we experience the mountaintop experience. So here we are preaching and speaking about it and addressing this subject of mountaintop experience. You see, I'm ready to just go already and just begin to preach in this moment. But I want to welcome you. If you are new to this broadcast, may you subscribe, may you invite people like we've already said. But the Holy Spirit is just pushing us to just move already. For we are about to release this word. We are in a season where everyone is thinking of going to the prayer mountain to pray. We are in a season where everyone desires to go to the mountain somewhere near their house or far driving there because there is something that they are yearning for something that they are looking for and this is what we have titled the mountain top experience and most people don't even know this thing now that's the problem that we are getting people who are desiring and yearning for the mountain top of experience mountain top experience going to the mountains seeking this thing seeking this dimension in god seeking to get to this fracture point where even Moses had, had got to that point. When you read in the book of Exodus 31 verse 18, it says here in verse 18, Exodus 31, And he gave unto Moses, when he had made an end of communing with him, upon Mount Sinai, Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone written with the finger of God. Most people want to get to this place where Moses got, where God revealed himself to Moses, where after Moses was communing with God, God revealed himself at the mountain top and gave him instructions and commandments that he would then dispense to the children of Israel. The challenge now we are having with people who desire mountain top of experience is that first and foremost, uh, they don't know why they need the mountain top of ex mountain top of experience. You realize that Moses <laughs> attained this level where he communed with God, and God revealed and dispensed Himself to Moses. And uh, as he was on that mountain top, 
but the whole point of mountaintop experience that most people then miss is because when you go to the mountaintop and experience God at the level where Moses experienced God, it is not for yourself. It is for an assignment and a commission that God will be commissioning you and assigning you for things that are beyond yourself. So the challenge we have is that we, we have people who go and seek this mountaintop of experience. But their idea is that I just want my prosperity. I, I just want money after this. I want a testimony. I want a miracle. Are we saying this is wrong? No. But I'm saying the reason why most people are not then experiencing what exactly they are supposed to experience when you go to the mountain top, where you get highest revelation in God, where you get to be dispensed to the world, distributed to nations to preach the gospel. People are missing it because it's for selfish reasons. So most people are not then experiencing that because they are small minds. In your small mind, all you want is your miracle. All you want is your prosperity. It's one dimensional, brother, when you just think about yourself. So you will not experience greatness of God in the mountain top of experience that you are desiring so much. Where is God in this? Are you going to preach the gospel? How many souls are you going to win? How many people are you going to impact? How many people are you going to influence Ali Kabayaso? So you find that the mountain top of experience, mountain top experience, you experience God to that dimension when your desire is for God, when your desire is for the gospel. This is the only time that you get to experience what Moses in Mount Sinai uh, experienced. La Rabakate, no parako. So if you are doing it for your own, selfish needs i'm telling you you will not really experience what you're supposed to experience so i'm challenging you as you go to the prayer mountain as you go to all these prayer mountains that are all over around go there with a mandate for god to say god what is the assignment that you are giving me to to do as i come on top of that mountain of this mountain what is the assignment of god that you are seeking to do you will find that you will meet God at that place where you are seeking to understand your assignment. This thing about prosperity, about healing, they, they don't that, that just come automatically in the package, packaged in your assignment as you are at the mountain top. So we see Moses was at a place where he was communing with God first. Then in that mountain top, that's when then God communed with Moses, communed with Moses, then released for him an assignment to go and do as he dispensed these commandments that he did to the children of Israel. You also see Elijah in the book of First Kings, chapter 19, verse 8, if you are to follow that scripture, you see that he experienced also on the mount where he experienced God at a higher dimension. This is where he challenged the false prophets. He challenged them on that mountain, and really was on an God assignment. He was not there to experience his own healing or his own miracle or his own pockets, his own prosperity or his own health. Uh -uh. He was there to challenge the false prophets as he stood on Mount so you find that uh, this is uh, the mountain top of experience the real mountain top of experience that you ought to desire you ought to experience you find Noah in the book of Genesis chapter 8 verse 4 that is the ark uh, came out of the water it landed on Mount Ararat uh, where it, it was parked there this is where Noah then got to a point where he had a covenant with God Malarakata, where God declared that never again will I destroy the earth never again will I cause water to destroy my people Larakata Kayase and we see a rainbow in the sky after that um, agreement, that covenant with, with God and no happened, it was on the Mount Ararat, uh, mountain top of experience, mountain top of experience, La Tabarato. So we are talking about the mountain top experience here. You see it happening. Most of the time when it happens, it concerns nations. It just doesn't concern you as an individual. So even with Noah, 
on Mount Ararat, we see that even the agreement, the covenant that he had with God at that mount, how we see it still affects us today because we still see the rainbow in the sky. Because that is when that revelation was dispensed, that agreement was down. It was on the mountain top. So you find that consistently, the mountain top experience, mountain top experience, happens concerning nations, not just concerning you as an individual. So we have people desiring the mountain top mountain top experience, but for their own selfish needs, for their own ambition for their own thing, for their own business. Am I saying it doesn't happen? It happens. But your vision is small. When you begin now to get this revelation that I'm releasing, that next time you go on a mountain to pray on the prayer mountain, you go where you desire the mountain top experience, go there with a mandate for God, a mandate for the kingdom, a mandate for you to meet God for your assignment. And when you get hold of your assignment, <laughs> Everything else, prosperity will follow that assignment because there is provision for your vision. So go there with the God mandate and you see La Rabarakosa change. On Mount Moria, we see Abraham Mareko Balakata sacrificing there. We see him sacrificing there. Mantila Kobrakala Seta. On Mount Moriah, we see him sacrificing there. And we would see years later. Solomon coming to build uh, God's church uh, where the sacrifices were temporarily done as they waited for Jesus to then come in the New Testament to uh, as the only sacrifice. So we see that it started on Mount Moriah, Mount Moriah if you can put it that way, where Abraham was doing a sacrifice, establishing this ground, this mountain uh, for Solomon to then come to build a permanent place where there was sacrifice, a temporary place where sacrifice would be done until Jesus come uh, as the only sacrificial uh, that sacrifice that was acceptable to God. So mountain top experience is not for individuals only, but it is for the greater purposes of God. So we are releasing this revelation, brother. We are releasing this revelation, sister, where we are talking about mountaintop experience and we are taking it to another dimension. You see, revelation is important in our Christian walk. Without revelation, you just be blind. What is revelation? Revelation is when a light is shined in your eyes, in your path, where you begin to see what you are not seeing. Imagine yourself uh, walking in the dark and you have uh, a light, a torch, uh, lit and pointed in a certain direction. That is, your eyes, your gaze will be directed in that direction. That all of a sudden, that place as the light illuminates it, the searchlights, think of searchlights. As light illuminates that place, your vision and your gaze will be guided in that direction. And you begin to see things that you were not seeing before. Those things were there already. But it's only your eyes, your, your eyes, your vision that was limited to a certain place. So when we dispense revelation, uh, we are pulling these lights and uh, redirecting your eyes far to places where you didn't see. So as we release this mountain top experience uh, revelation, your life will never be the same again. As we release this revelation, your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus, Mount Clara Sukatabayakata. So brother, sister, as you go to that mountain now, go with this revelation. You begin to experience the great things that you've never experienced before. Because, you know, this is not only the end, you know. When we see uh, Moses on Mount Sinai, how Mount, uh, how this is Mount Horeb as well. Uh, we also get to see Mount Camel, Elijah, as he challenged the prophets there. We get to see, and we get to see that there was power that was dispensed from that place, Elijah, as he challenged the prophets, or the false prophets, there was power. So, mountaintop experience, if you go to the mountaintop and desire mountaintop experience with the right frame of mind, with the right mindset, you will see greater results, greater results than you are seeing now. Perhaps now you are just seeing the healing, yeah, it's, it's taking place. You are just seeing your, your, the finance things changing because you've gone to the mountain. Yeah, that's fine. But now, walk in a greater vision. You have a greater vision, like beyond just seeing your, 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 your immediate miracle. There is more that God wants for you. 
than just this immediate prosperity that you might want. Uh, if you walk in your vision, that prosperity will still be there, but with a greater purpose and a mandate for God. So we have people who are just selfishly wanting things that doesn't really have to do with the kingdom of God. For what, what The ideas that you have, how are they advancing the kingdom? The, the money that you are getting, how is it advancing the kingdom? So when you now begin to desire the things of God, desire greater things for the mission that God has given us. In the book of Matthew, we've all been commissioned to go into nations, to preach the word. Wherever you are, whatever career you are in, whether you are a doctor, whether you are a lawyer, a teacher, a farmer, that is your ministry right there. When you are praying and experience the mountaintop experience with God, where you are one on one with God like Moses, where you are challenging the false prophets standing there with God like Elijah, you begin to see you walk in greater purposes, fulfilling what God has called us to fulfill. We see Jesus also on the mountaintop, Malakaraka. These are physical mountains I'm talking about. He was on the mountaintop, Mount of Olives. He would teach there every time. You would see him. Not surprising that is, he took uh, John, James, Peter up the mountain. And there they met uh, with the prophets, Elijah. Then they met with the law, Moses. I Not surprising that you see Jesus also uh, showing that. That he also went and had the mountain top experience where there was one on one with God. In the name of Jesus, you see that in that part of scripture where Jesus was on the mountain top, they said to him that his clothes became glowing more than any human can bleach. Uh, it was glowing that beyond any bleaching that you can think about, the glow on the clothes of Jesus as he was there. And pronounced, God pronounced that this is my son. But they didn't stay on the mountain top. When Jesus went to the mountain top, um, Mount of Transfiguration, when we went there, there, it wasn't for the purpose of staying there. Although Peter wanted to build a house there, he had a limited revelations like you have where you want to stay at the mountain top just for your own good, just for your own sake. But the dimension of revelation at the mountain top is that you have to come from the mountain top and go into nations to preach the word. That's why they had to still come down because Jesus had to fulfill the mandate, the vision, the assignment that his father had given him of going on the cross. So when you go to the mountain top, don't stay there. Come down there with a mandate, brother. Come down there with a mandate, sister, where you are preaching the gospel, where you go on another dimension in the name of Jesus. So we see Jesus, Mount of Mount Olives, you teach there every time, you teach there every time. But he would then go up the mountain and he is transfigured on the mountain where he reached the highest pinnacle of revelation, the highest pinnacle of greatness. And he showed this glimpse uh, to his favorite disciples, uh, James, uh, his brother, uh, John, Peter, where they saw him in this glory that they had never seen. It's a place, brother, a mountaintop where you meet with God, where highest revelation ascends and you receive it and you catch it. But when you catch it, you have to move in now. We have to move in it now. When we come down from here where we are, even for us, as we are at the mountain top here, dispensing this revelation, how we are coming in full force, we'll be pushing this gospel. We'll be pushing this gospel. And we are going to nations. We are going to nations. Healings will be taking place. Miracles will take place. You see the prophetic of this ministry that we have begun now to push and launch by divine commission, by divine assignment. As we come from this mountain top, many miracles will begin to happen in the name of Jesus. I hope you are getting it as we are releasing this revelation. I hope you are getting it. I hope you are getting it. And the highest point where we all get, the highest point as I conclude, where we are all going to get, the highest mountain that we're going to get, the highest mountain top experience we are going to get, is when we all go to Mount Zion, La Rakayata, where we will go to the new heaven, where there will be a new heaven, where there will be a new earth. If you begin to understand the book of Revelation, La Rakabaya, where God dwells, Mount Zion, where God dwells, Likabarakabaya Soto, Banta, where as children of God we will go to be with our Father, 
that is the highest mountain top but when is when all is said and done when all is said and done we will get to that point in the name of jesus i hope i have released this revelation to you i hope i have released this truth to you and ministered to someone in the name of jesus and today i just want to say may god bless you and i hope you have gotten this revelation and understood it mountaintop experience i have dispensed all i have dispensed in jesus name may you be blessed in mighty ways in jesus name we pray amen so thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast we are at our mountain top our prayer mountain we will be announcing more things that are coming on this broadcast on this ministry and uh, we have a surprise uh, for you very soon that we'll be announcing uh, that things that God has been doing for us and helping us uh, to achieve. We're going to announce this testimony of where God is taking this ministry. As we have launched it here online, you'll begin to see it now uh, physically in physical places at a physical location. So I'm excited to be announcing that uh, that is coming. But otherwise, thank you so much for uh participating on this broadcast and for those also who've been just blessing this ministry uh, with uh, partnering with us financially uh giving to this uh commission so i thank you for that and we appreciate you for that there'll be more giving details uh, on your screen even as we conclude you see them they're already on the screen now but otherwise thank you for joining us today and may you be blessed and we don't forget to join us for midweek devotion every wednesday at 7 pm we are there on midweek devotions uh we'll be also continuing with our topic on grief and just looking at what god says about grief and uh just getting to understand it more but otherwise we love you so much and may god bless you join us on another broadcast have a blessed week amen <laughs>